So as promised, tonight we're going to go over uh, balling a tail. Now, there's a few things you need to um, have real handy when you're doing this. I like to have just a regular blunt tooth comb. Um, I also like to have one of these slicker brushes, and we're going to go over why I like to have these slicker brushes. Um, and then two different kinds of adhesive. I'm going to use firm adhesive. Um, on the tail and then on the outside since this is a colored one and I don't want to change the color of that tail I'm going to use natural hold natural holds really good because um, It doesn't get white like some of our other adhesive this one if we keep putting it on it's going to get white Where I'm going to use that on the underside of the tail this I'm going to use on the outer Now there's a couple different reasons. I wanted to use this calf the first one was it's a colored one. You know, a lot of black ones, we can just come back in here and paint it back black. The other reason I wanted to use this tail was she doesn't have just a really hairy switch. There's just not a lot of hair here to work with. She's a baby calf. This is an August summer born. And there's just not a bunch of hair to work with. So I, wanted, I want to show you that because is we can utilize every ounce of hair we've got here. So the, the last thing we need help with is we need someone to hold this tail for us while we're doing it. So I'm going to bring Dustin over here. If you're real smart, you'll outsource this whole thing and let a girl do it because they're really good at it. So I'm just going to go over step one. I like to grab the bottom of this tail. I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to start pulling away this outer layer 360 degrees around that tail. You can see I've got the inside still with my left hand. I'm pulling all the hair out with my right hand. Just so I have enough to come back and cover this tail. What I have in my left hand, I'm going to ball the tail with. What I have in my right hand that I'm fixing to peel off of here, I'm going to keep this up and that's what's going to cover our tail. So I'm going to hold this up and this is an important job. Dustin's going to hold this. If at any point they drop this while we're doing it, you almost have to start over. So. Don't mess up. So now with this little bit of hair we have left, what we're going to do, and girls call this back combing, I just call it wrapping that tail up. So what we're doing is we're just going to wrap this tail up. I think girls call it teasing. Teasing? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so apparently I don't know what girls call it. So it's just like right here, we're just wrapping this up. We, what we're do, Why we're doing this is this is where the volume is going to come from. We want these tails to have just a little bit, obviously, some width and some shape to it. Now, back in like the 80s when my Uncle Bob was showing and even the 70s, he's kind of old, they used to want these tails like really big. They looked like they were carrying a basketball back there. Nowadays, they just want these tails to be fairly conservative. We want them about this big around. What I normally do when I'm making a tail is I just make a circle with my hands I put it over it and that's about the width I want it to be. Now in heifers they can be a little bigger, which this one's a heifer, so we'll make it just a little fluffier, a little rounder, uh, maybe just a nickel bigger. On steers I like to be really conservative because the bigger we make this tail, sometimes the more narrow we can make the calf look. So if we make this a little bit more conservative it's going to make their muscle shape look a little bigger. So again, I've got this fluffed up kind of the way I want it got some volume there. I'm going to come in here with my firm adhesive, spray it off to the side, make sure it's spraying good. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to put a pretty good amount on that tail. You want to do this in a timely manner, put it on pretty quick, but get it all the way around it. Then he's going to set this down just a little and I'm going to put my hands around this and this is where the shape of that tail is coming from. So again, you want to just put your hands, put your thumb together and your fingers together and just get the shape of that tail. Now again, this is a baby calf, so we don't want this tail to be super big. Now you can see like this tail right now, it doesn't look super great. It kind of looks ratty, it kind of looks messy. The reason we want to do it on this underside, now I'm just taking these clippers and I'm just going to take just a little bit off the bottom. There was just some a few kind of stragglers there. Now again, I'm going to emphasize that this doesn't look just super great yet. 
and, and we're okay with that. That's kind of the object is we just want to make sure that the diameter is pretty close to where we want. I also will take and spray a little extra on the bottom because that's the part that's going to fall out if anything fails. And I just kind of roll this can on there and tuck up those extra hairs. And I'll be the first to admit, this is something that took me a long time to learn. Partially because it was something that we usually let one of the girls do. And I finally just had to force myself to learn. So now, we've got kind of this tail ball. And you can kind of come around here if you want. And just kind of look at all angles. See it from the, from the back. So, again, it's the shape we want it. But it doesn't necessarily look pretty yet. So, now, Dustin's going to let go of the top part. What we don't want to do is come in here with a comb and start combing this down over that tail. The reason we don't is when we're putting this hair back down, we can get into that bottom ball. If we will come over with this slicker brush, the teeth on these are extremely short, so they're not going to get into this bottom layer. The other thing it does is it really spreads the hair out as we put it over the back side of this ball. So we're just going to finish this tail by combing this hair back over the tail we made. So we're just going to make sure it evens out here a little bit. And we can go all the way to the surface because we know we're not going to get into that. Now, why I want to switch over from our firm adhesive to our natural hold is because this natural hold is that really good holding power, but it's not going to change the color. You noticed on the bottom of this, it changed that tail to where it almost looked white. This is going to be real light, so we're just going to coat this. And again, notice how far away from the tail ball I am. If you want to hold that out, Dustin. I'm just going to put a light coat all the way around this tail. And I just love that this, this adhesive here isn't going to make it change its color. And again, all we're doing is just forming that tail, that hair, down over that. And we're just covering up that bottom layer. So again, I'm going to put another little bit of layer on there and then I'm going to take the bottom of this can, the side of this can, and I'm just going to roll that underneath it. And get those stragglers. What happens is when you're fitting, your hands get sticky and when you start trying to tuck that up, you're going to, it's going to stick to your hand and go and pull away from you. If you'll just roll this can around the edges, it'll keep it from pulling away from it. And then again, I just like to put just a little bit up here. So all of our adhesive has been from here down. I like to put just a little bit to finish this ball up above that. Grab the tail high and just kind of smooth everything together and blend it in. Now, I will tell you, that's a finished tail ball. If you want to come from behind here and view it. I will tell you, a lot of times I like to do the tail ball last. A lot of times we'll just take a tail tie, we'll put it up here, pin it up here, we'll fit the whole calf. Because what, what often happens is if you fit this tail first, it will, well, in the course of getting the rest of the calf ready, this calf can start beating its tail back and forth. And by the time you get done fitting, it can kind of be unfit again. So I'd recommend maybe doing this towards um, one of the last things you do before you go to the ring. Again, we're going to be coming to you with some more videos as we can. Um, I appreciate everybody following us. Um, it's sure been fun. Um, bringing some of these videos to you. We look forward to the next one.